Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here. Uh, in the last video, we refurbished this, which is a Seiko S229-5000. That video has done really well. Surprisingly, it's almost at 10,000 views, uh, which is absolutely epic. So really massive thank you to everyone who's watched that. Now, one of the things I said was I wanted to fill in the lettering that's up here. So it says Seiko Pulse Meter Alarm Chronograph. Um, now, it's quite hard to see that. And actually, in some lightings, it's pretty much invisible. So I really want to make that pop. So I was recommended some enamel paint and a very fine paintbrush. And then basically the process is to apply some paint. And obviously I'm not gonna be able to fill in uh, the Seiko on such an accurate scale. But what I should be able to do is fill in the lettering and then rub it off with my thumb. And apparently that will make the lettering come out looking quite good. So thank you to all the comments who suggested that. Um, I've gone with this uh, enamel paint. Hopefully it's gonna be sufficient. I don't know anything about paints. And then I've also got a zero paintbrush, which is the smallest one that the uh, hobby shop that I went to sold. And that should be okay. But obviously remember, we're not actually applying the paint inside here, specifically we're applying it around there, so it should be okay. This is gonna hopefully look better than it does right now. And also with a bit of isopropyl alcohol, I could pretty much hopefully undo any of the damage that I may inflict. Okay, okay, that's probably that damaged beyond repair. Um, okay, so that is white paint, I can confirm. Okay, here we go. Uh, so I'm just gonna go for it, I think. Damn, this stuff smells like Tipex. Okay, I'm gonna go with that and uh, see what that does for us. Okay, here we go. I think I might just go for the Seiko bit first because that's the biggest. I'll go for the SE, like around that area. Okay, and then rub off with my thumb. <gasps> that does look very good. That does look very good. Oh my goodness me. Right, I need to dry my thumbs. That looks incredible. Right, I'm a bit worried about the, uh, the excess paint though that's around the area. Okay, I'd say that looks pretty good. I'm actually really happy with that. That, in my opinion, definitely looks better. Let's go for the alarm chronograph now and see, uh, see what we can do with that. Oh my goodness. I can't even fathom how amazing it looks. I'm really, really pleased with that. I'll figure it out tomorrow uh, in a few days time how to remove the excess on the surface level, but that is a success in my opinion. That looks 10 times better. It's massively popping uh, compared to how it did at the start. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. I hope I can find another application for this stuff in the future because I enjoyed that. I have a feeling the there was a uh, black text inside the touch sensor part. So maybe uh, I'll find some reference photos and see if that is the case. And maybe we could do that as well. But yeah, that looks sweet. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Bye.